Time to get the Fox 7 Sports Edge. Horns put an exclamation point on spring workouts. Nice hit in there. Now, with roughly five months to go until the season opener, Mac Brown's Longhorns wrap it up this spring with the annual orange and white scrimmage. Perfect weather for Mac, his horns, and about 40,000-plus fans who made it out to DKR. Colt McCoy looking good. 7 of 11, 136 yards. 40 of them coming to Jordan Shipley, laying out and making the highlight grab of the day. Now, Jamal Charles... Lots going to be on his shoulders, or better said, his legs. Tweaked his ankle in last weekend's scrimmage. Went a little light today. Still went off for 15 yards on that run. Chris Obanaya now. He might spell Charles every once in a while. Showing some nice moves here on the five-yard touchdown. Five carries, 28 yards for Obanaya. Now the backup quarterback. Everybody wants to know what John Childs looks like. Well, here's what he looks like. <laughs> if you could catch him, 28-yard touchdown run. Sherrod Harris, of course, going to have a little something to say about that backup spot, too. He's a redshirt freshman, and he has the longest run of the day, 75 yards to pay dirt. Of course, the score doesn't mean much in this one. Orange wins it 38-8, to eight, but the postgame comments do carry some weight. Here's John Hyde. The Longhorns' three biggest questions going into spring were... Depth in the offensive line. Figuring out who plays in the secondary. A second-team quarterback. In UT spring game, the O-line blocked well. The young and inexperienced secondary looked a bit shaky at times. And despite a couple of nice runs from backup quarterbacks John Childs and Sherrard Harris, neither really did anything to separate themselves. John made as good of a run as we've seen around here because um, he's, he's just really a, a good, strong runner. And he and Sherrod both need to continue to work in the passing game. They both made plays, and they both played within themselves. So after spring practices, we still don't know who the backup quarterback will be, but we do know whoever it is will play next season because Coach Brown doesn't want to run into the same problem he did last season when Colt got hurt. So we don't have a situation come back up like Kansas State. We do need one of the other guys to get some plays um, that are quality plays in the games uh, early next year, and especially before we get to conference play. We've got to have both of those guys on the field. You know, and they've come a long way since the first practice, and I thought they did tremendous today. Young offensive line's better. We've just got to get more depth. We've got to separate our young quarterbacks. All questions that should be answered in the fall. John Hyde, Fox 7 Sports Edge. Now, while the football squad has to wait until...